some pretty good row in there though, look at that. Check that out. Check that out. That's fatness right there, man. Premium. Cream, man. Absolutely delicious, guys. As you can see there, she's super, super low today. Really low tide. We've got those king tides, so... Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, pretty sloppy water there. I'm not expecting the water to be the greatest at all. We'll be lucky if we get a half a metre viz, but we'll soon see anyway. I might just have to braille dive and big D out there on the reef axe. Ah, it's just a rock. Reef is tough anyway. This is Big D, my brother, my little big brother, and he drives a boat around a lot for me. Absolute tank of a diver though, just uh, can't get in the water much because he usually forgets his gears behind and yeah. I'm looking forward to not diving deep but I, I really wish that this water was looking a bit better because yeah, very green at the moment. We've had those winds and those swells, the swells were like four meters here about a few days ago so um, yeah we're just seeking shelter at the moment we've got a a southwest a southwest wind rolling in at about 10 knots so we're gonna have a wee bit of shelter where I'm headed today water temps only 11 degrees though so yeah she's pretty icy out there and check that out Woo. Time for some new Bootex. Pretty flat though, so I thought I'd make the most of this Saturday morning and get out there and get a get a feed for for myself, my old man, and a few of the boys at work. But yeah, this is our hood anyway. Bluff or the or the fishing fleet here. All these hard bastards get out, you know, get up early in the morning, going out for weeks at a time, or, you know, some, some do day trips just to put food on the table for their whānau. Put all the oyster boats over there. And, uh, yeah, that's where the famous bluff oysters get dredged up from, out in the strait. I did double check. I had all my gears, got my weight belt, fins, gloves, mask, be a mask. Sweet. It's us, Fano. The plan was to uh, hit the slack tide, bang on uh, 11 o'clock. So, what's the time now? 10.56. So, yeah. Low tide is about 3 past 11, I think. So, where I'm going to go hit these kinners today, pretty hard to get in there because uh, usually there's a big a big current ripping right through there. All of this water in the harbour rips all the way out and um, yeah, it makes it really difficult to hover over one spot and that's pretty important for your breathe up. So yeah, hopefully we get that slack bang on and I don't have to worry about drifting too much. Pump it baby, pump it! see my fins in there but man I've got to try anyway you know drop in here Fano and see how we go eh?
Yep. I knew it. After getting in the water, it didn't take long to realise that uh, this was going to be a bit of a mission dive. Half a metre viz, max, uh, was what I was dealing with, and yeah, down at the bottom it was just pretty much pitch black. Um, I was able to feel my way around and I could only see anything that was probably about 30 centimetres in front of my face. Uh, this here is the reality of being a diver sometimes though. Um, you just got to make do with what you can and uh, you'll never know if you don't get out there and at least give it a shot, give it a try, if you want those treats. See, man, my face is about this far away from the rocks, and I'm just like having to find them like that. Insane, bro. Like, well, it's hey, well, yeah. Oh, no, I've dived in this before. Hey, as long as I've got one cannon out, sweet ass. But, uh, I say we crack this bitch open first. Have we look at the quality, eh? Not the biggest. At least it's calm. Oh no. At least it's calm. I haven't had kinders in a while, so anything will do, but uh, actually who cares? I'll just uh carry on with what I got here. They'll be fat, they'll be fat. No need to crack test. Fins, get yourself some whanau, seekfins.com, awesome, you can't see mine at the moment, but make it. Can't even see my fins. Dropping down again the second time after the first, uh, it's a wee bit easier, definitely harder to relax when you feel so disorientated from not knowing exactly how deep it is because you can't see the bottom um, you pretty much just head down as hard as you can with your hand leading out in front of you and as soon as your hand touches that bottom you know it's on um, it can be quite a bit of a panic though when you get to the bottom very hard to stay relaxed and that's really what you want to do if you want a good breath hold you just can't see nothing man <sighs> drifting all the way back up here which is weird eh Be really disheartening in these conditions uh, with the 11 degree water dark all the way down deep and yeah just complete and utter shit visibility as you can see I was pretty much just crawling along the bottom feeling around for whatever I could and if I felt something spiky sweet as uh, the camera actually makes it look a lot better than what I was seeing through my mask um, so yeah this is doing it some justice really I was basically just feeling around and every time that I find something spiky I knew to look around that area, well feel around that area a little bit more because kinners usually hang around in numbers and groups and I ended up getting onto a few patches there. You know it's not, not too dangerous out here and uh, anywhere else is 
and accessible at the moment we've got huge rolls coming in from different places so i just got to do what I can it actually makes you quite anxious man being on the bottom and it's just it's not really the darkness it's just the you can't see what's coming up in front of you <laughs> don't don't blow blow up the boat with that smoke okay at this stage in the dive I'd probably been down about six or seven times and yeah I was just starting to feel really shit um, didn't really feel like being there but I knew you know that I'd just I'd come across a few if I just kept on kept at it and um, yeah persevered and after going down a, for a couple of drops and coming up with nothing, I came across this this good wee patch here. So it was, um, yeah, got the spirits up a bit. And sweet, spiky gold is on. I went down for one final drop and on this one I noticed that the current was really starting to pick up. I was starting to get um, towed away, um, especially when I got back to the surface I could just feel myself really starting to pull hard uh, with that tide coming back in. Slack tide was over now so yeah, probably a good sign for me to get out. I'm tapping out Fano. Time to get out now. The feet are like icicles and fingertips are like icicles too. Look at that kind of spike in there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but yeah. I got enough for a feed anyway. Just enough to wet the tongue and give a feed to a couple of mates. Hopefully those killers are fat inside though. That's us, brother. Let's go. Woo. I'll get too old for this. God damn. Electrolytes in there. Got in there though, Fano. Got us a little feed. That's all we need. It was worth it, it was worth it. But that's what I tell myself anyway. <laughs> Look at those little kinners. Those are little man, yeah. No big ones today, but hey. Like I said before, any kin is a good kinner.
What's up, brother? Just a few cameras, eh? See your boat? Yeah. Nice, bro. Is it brand new? Yeah. Like, all tin or? Me. Oh, I don't regret it going out. Got my feet. Is it a maiden voyage or? Oh, yeah. That's nice, man. Safe as. I like the name too. Daniel! Yeah? Yeah, nah, sometimes if it's uh, too busy at the boat ramps, people aren't loading. We've got a couple of boat ramps here. So I've just gotten Daniel to drive down to the other boat ramp and. Quiet, you dog. Has my car got the power? Oh shit, we're on sand there. It's not often it gets us low. Is it concrete all the way down there though? Yes. Quick mish. Twelve o'clock is it? Let's get out of here. Jeez, my car doesn't smell the best, guys. Drop the bloody protein shake under here under my seat, and I went all the way down in the crack, and I couldn't even clean it, so. He's been pong for about for a couple of months now. <laughs> what did you say? It smells all good. See, uh, I was just telling uh, everybody on the channel about that smell. Yeah. It's pretty funky, all right. Sweet bro, thanks for that. See you after, eh? Yeah. Well, Chinese is on. I don't know what time Chinese is on, but. 4:30. Uh, 4 30 they're ordering it and 5 30 pickup. Yes, yes. yes. What, Later, bro. Later. Yeah, perks are living in a small town. I don't have to travel too far to launch my boat and get myself a feed. Two minute drive from home, so. Yep, a couple of blocks away and I'm in the water. 10 15 minutes away and I can get pretty much everything that I need, really. But it is good to get out and you know venture out wide get to a few different spots hoping to get away up north one of these days you know i'd really love to dive coro go up to the coromandel or just anywhere up there hodaki golf wellington i've been invited by quite a few few guys out there sorry it's uh it's not that i don't want to i'm just a bit of a poor hunter fella so you know Keen to show me some tickets up that way, I'm down. But yeah, something I've got to work on anyway is uh, getting a bit more experience away. I hope the whanau's still here. I'll park this boat up and then we will get into cleaning it up later on. I always park it up here on an angle so I can drain it out while I'm cleaning it. Sure. Mission complete. Let's go. Sup? Wanna kinna? <laughs> Brother Howard, another kinna man. About 30 centimeters viz. I haven't cracked them open yet, so I don't even know what's going on inside there. <laughs> yeah, let's bust her open, bro. Where you, where you go? Ho -ho! Just harbour, man. Fat ass Fano. Scoop that out. Yeah, man. Fuck, that's a fat ass. 
Oh yeah, that's quality, eh? Quality right there. Oh, you off to the game today? Yeah, bro. Oh. Man. Yeah. Oh, I gave up though. I wasn't in there for long. Probably done about eight or nine drops down, and fuck, yeah. I just couldn't see nothing. So. Just yeah. feel, mate. Yeah, pretty much. Look at that. Whew. I'll give you one for the road, eh? <laughs> yeah, I always hook the bros up. Huh? Oh, yeah. A few farts in the ruck, X. Yeah, go anyway, brother. Nah, sweet. Hello. <laughs> sweet, bro. Look in there, I got kinners. Yeah. I got kinners. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's everything. Miss, come this way, eh? Pull this in here and. Let's see in here, eh? <laughs> nice, bro. Hopefully that one's a fat one too. Look. Mmm, You want to hold on to one? No. You want to hold on to a small one? It's okay, it won't hurt you. You just got to be very careful. Yeah, be very careful. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, beautiful day, Fauna. I'm glad I got some kids. You gonna help wash my gears? Whoa! Never regret cleaning my gears straight away because then I don't have to do it later. Can't even feel my, can't even feel my feet, Fano. Cannot feel my toes. Damn, ice. Hi there, Lexi. Let's go clean the boat. get to uh, work on these kinners now. Fuck, I'm just really glad I got a feed. <sighs> we will. <laughs> Spiky gold, baby. <clears throat> Couple of little ones in there, really small ones, but I'll still get eaten. Fuck, look at that one. Never even seen a kinner that big before. Well, that's small. Chirp. Get a lot of questions about this. My uh, kinder cracker got this from uh, Ocean Hunter. Pretty handy, you know, like um, some people are like, oh, that's a bit fancy, but hey, man, when you eat kinders all the time, I'm gonna smash them on the go real quick. That's good ass, man. Old, yep. Healthy kinners inside there. Hopefully they're all like that. <coughs> ah, yep. See that nice gold colour? Those are some of my favourite ones, those gold ones. 
spiky gold. Brown ones aren't too bad either, those, those sorts there. Sweet ass. Pretty good at showing these out good. Yeah, a lot of people complain, oh you know you're leaving. You're taking all the guts, guts out, you're supposed to eat the guts. Well, yeah, I'll eat the guts too, but yeah, it's all good to do a wee good job of you know cleaning them out properly. They're premium connects. Good to me. Get to work on the rest of these and I'll eat that one. Almost done. Just gotta do this last half of this one. Some pretty good row in there though, look at that. Good fat ones there. Mean dead out good quality right there might have some kinners on toast I think me last one and then uh, yeah it's not too bad eh let me feed the kinners there that's That one was to say the fattest one for last, eh? Yeah, premium kinners. Well, there they are anyway. A few creamy ones there. Sometimes they uh, take some water cream up. All this cream in here just comes out, sort of the longer you leave them to sit. But uh, check that out. That's fatness right there, man. Premium. Food of the gods. Jack. Went and had a shower all cleaned up now. Check this out, Fano. This is the reality of a of a kinna slayer. <laughs> Fuck, I got all of that um, tub there, that drum filled up with it. And what I do with these kinna shells is just crunch them down and I'll get used for fertilizer or compost one day when I finally get around to cleaning up my garden because um, yeah love gathering the kai moana but I really want to start um, growing my own vegetables as well properly you know I had this uh, garden here up and running a wee while ago but um, yeah just let it get out of control and pretty much was just a lazy bastard well that was a nice short sharp dive uh, got the business done though um, got what we went out there for We'll show it up now and ready to have us feed. This is what the business end looks like though guys. Fuck, look at those rows. Pretty stoked with that. Couple of tubs. Only took us an hour to grab them, but yeah, it's better than paying for them. It's gonna have some kinners on toast now, so check out that. Not the most appetizing looking toast. <laughs> Gotta to admit, but chuck them on there anyway. On each one, sweet. Go and eat them outside so I don't stink everyone out. Pen is on, man. Pen is on. Yes, cream, man. Absolutely delicious, guys. You haven't tried kinners before, 
probably something you're not going to like straight away but it'll definitely grow on you and then once once it does grow on you you know I didn't like kinners for ages but you know once I had a few feeds of them I just had no choice but to Anyway guys, I'm going to finish off this feed of kinners. Um, got a wee bit of a Chinese um, night at my parents tonight. Catch up for my um, dad's 63rd birthday. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get back out in this water and make some more content for you guys. Because um, yeah, I haven't been able to get out there at all. Just been going out for a few quick kinner missions here and there. But yeah, I want to spark up some new adventures. I'm thinking about heading off to Stewart Island uh, soon on a bit of a solo hiking mish. Um, Hopefully I can get out of there, but uh, from now I'm just watching from the sidelines all you guys up north, you know, with that incredible viz, getting out there and slaying those uh, kingies and all your other awesome species that you get. Um, it's making me real jealous, but it's definitely keeping the throth alive uh, for me, being able to watch all your guys' content. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, then, you know, go through my videos, and if you, if you like the videos, give them a like, and... That really helps me out you know get this channel out there a bit more um yeah like i said got some pretty cool adventures coming up in the future so hopefully soon this weather clears up and we get out of this uh winter buzz this 11 degree uh temperature waters and we can get back into it whanau peace out and we'll see you on the next adventure of kai down under